Hello, my name is Erin Grooms. I've been working on this thing for about ever, well, a couple weeks. Um, and this is the graphics I've got done so far. This is for the game. Uh, Saul Deliverance, Chapter 1, takes place. Uh, this is EMC 2450. If you read the first book, Saul Legacy, then you may know exactly where you are. There's a lot of things that need to be fixed, so let's ignore the things that need to be fixed. I'm just going to show the things that are good so far. Um, so we've got lots of textures done. I uh, still need a lot of work to be done, and I've got some, you know, seams that need to be fixed. But we're going to introduce you to our cast of characters. This is me, or you. This is your boss, Imway. And this is your main bad guy. This is going to be, this is a guy who works for Stoltz. If you read, you should read the first chapter of uh, Soul Legacy. I should read the whole book. And uh, you'll understand what's going on. So anyway, this is your main character. This is your character. You don't actually appear in the book. You are a, not even referenced. He is in the book. So, but you're his traveling companion who is not mentioned until just now. How convenient. Anyway, so, United uh, Nations, Ganymede Operations. Ooh, it rhymes. Okay, we're going to start over here. Unfortunately, I can, I don't have my stuff on, so I can go through walls right now, so. Ignore any going through walls. This is Richaud's Cafe. It's a little cafe that's, uh, don't tell anyone, but it's based on a cafe in, in Munich. Um, it may or may not be real. Um, I don't. I think it's actually not called Richard. Vanessa and I argue about this all the time, but I think it's called something else. But it's very similar to Richard. Um, this is Fred from Jupiter. It's a nightclub for most like a skanky kind of nightclub. Fred from Jupiter. You know the song. If you, if you know the song, everyone knows that I love Noi Deutsche Welle. So, Fred from Jupiter is a Nori Deutsche Welle song. All right, so, let's get some ads up along the top. This ad, well, I've been doing this and haven't, been, haven't told you about your things yet. This is your weapon, this is your gun, and this is your whip. It's a monofilament whip, which needs some more hinges on here so it doesn't look as crappy right now. But, um, basically, it flips out and... Um, throws a whip and shoots it out at people, and you can cut them in half. Okay, so that adds from the first chapter of the first book. Have you been saved? FACE, sign up for a four-year encoding. FACE stands for Full Advanced Cognitive Encoding. All right, we're looking at ZLive here next. ZLive from the third book is a um, it's an entertainment company broadcaster. Owned by Harold Palmer. Um, I think it's Sea Lives actually in the second book too. I don't know. It's definitely in the third book because this guy's in the third book. Trev, who right now looks like Michael Bluth, but he is not Michael Bluth. He is Trev at the moment. So these, these are all um, test graphics and stuff like that. You know, you know how it goes. You need to shove something in there, you shove something in there. But these are going to be animated with, you know, real characters and stuff. I mean, some fixing of some stuff. There's another show, Forbidden Lust, which does not star the kids from Caprica. Um, it's on Tuesdays at 9 o'clock, though, if you want to watch it. It's not real, but if you do want to watch it, you can try turning to Z-Live at 9 o'clock on Tuesdays and see nothing, because Z-Live doesn't exist. All right, next is Bacala High. This is the um, nightclub, the swanky nightclub, the one that... Dylan, in the first book, gets all knackered up on that North Korean, um, I don't know what it is, some sort of mind meld or something. I don't know what I called it. It's in Korean. I need someone who's actually read the books more often than I have. All right, next is the EMC, the Extraplanetary, extra, yeah, Extraplanetary Mining C 
Commission. Yeah, right there, Extraplanetary Mining Commission. This is the Rich Port facility. Um, I need to put some lights on here. For some reason, I need lights have turned off. And you see a lot of transparencies that need to be changed over to um, reflective. But I haven't done that yet. <clears throat> have I gotten the people moving yet? Oh, we went right through the people mover. The people mover takes people from one side of the city to the other side of the city. But we're not going to actually go to the... You're not going to be able to move that, do that. You're going to have a pretty predefined course of where to go. Um, but I just wanted to show you this ad for the Red Eye. And Richport Commons, number two. Red Eye is in the third book. It's Jace's Bar. Jace from the first book. This is my thing to the underground. The underground is mentioned a lot, but we're not going to go underground in this game. Um, and I haven't really finished it either. You can tell. <laughs> it just goes to the ground plane. And you can see the ground plane underneath it. All right. So next, we are here at Alice Restaurant, where you can get anything you want except Alice. Um, mostly this scene's going to be so you can do a nice little fighting over here. Um, some ads over here. You'll see lots of ads all over the place. There's going to be more ads too. You know, me investigation continues. That's uh, the child plot of the first book. Buy stuff. I didn't have anything for that, so I just threw a random crap up there. Um, that's random crap. I just took and did a bunch of weird crap with a, uh, um, with a picture of a restaurant. <laughs> All right, there's a uh, Phoebe Phoebe Boutique. Phoebe Boutique is in the third book. It's where um, Tish Palmer goes um, before she leaves. And then this is Q Kevin from a can, Kevin in a can, which is, you know what that means. If you don't, then turn it off and turn it back on again. Um, this is a, this is the visitor center. You know, a couple things that are going to happen in the game here, but nothing I don't think happens in the books really to that. There's watch Trev daily, so more Trev. They want you to watch Trev. Trev is in the third book, um, briefly. I don't know what chapter. He's in the chapter on Hobo. And daily European excursions. Um, that's just another little silly ad I put up there. This is an ad for Bard. We take you everywhere. I'm going to add some um, picture of the Lucerne, which I modeled recently, into this thing here. But I know I'm going to animate the whole thing. So that is really weird. Sometimes you get these. That's supposed to be flat, but... And to you, it looks flat, but to me, it's got dimension. I don't know why. But uh, anyway, so here we go. Welcome to Richport Ganymede. This thing here is going to completely change. Um, especially the Weinberg Bar Mitzvah that's been on the very beginning. So I could convince someone to give me new new text, and they didn't. So it's still Weinberg's. Uh, okay, so here we are. Now we are at the tunnel. So this is the tunnel from oh the main atrium, or yeah, the main atrium, central atrium, which is what this is called, even though it's not in the center and it's not really an atrium. It's called the center atrium, central atrium. All right, so we're going to go down the tunnel now. It's very wide. I wanted this to be like Penn Station. If you've ever been to Penn Station, in New York, you know that they've got these super long white halls and you've got about a billion people going through them. There's not going to be a billion people going through it at this time because, well, I'll read the first chapter of the book, you'll understand. Um, but there will be some people. So then there's this all the way through. So very Penn Station-y. <clears throat> Um, there's no lighting in here. This is all lighting from the from the sun, which I don't want to do. And I've got to fix some of this ground plane because it's off center. Um, all of this was done today. Like this entire tunnel was done today until recently. This, which is the landing bay, was way out there. But um, Or actually close, really close to them, to the atrium, but now it's really far away. 
So I wanted to have a ship up here, but honestly, there's too much stuff. And you can see all the stuff I need to do. You can see it. there needs to be some borders here to kind of break between this kind of wall and this kind of wall. Texturing needs to be redone. It's just really different in between doing it in, for a TV screen and doing it for virtual reality, mostly because, um, you know, this texture, this 1024 by 768 texture on a small screen would look fine, but whenever I'm, whenever there's, they have got two screens right next to my face, they look, they look pixelated as heck. So there's really not a whole lot of keepy textures here yet. <laughs> I like that ceiling, but other than that, um, there's no normals or height maps or anything like that at all either. So it's all straight up, um, Uh, whatever the word I'm looking for is, it's all just straight up diffuse maps and textures. Okay, so that should be it. Whole thing. There's a cafe ad. Oh, I didn't go into the center yet. All right. So here's my water. You're not going to be in the water. You can see the water only goes up to goes up to your head. And this is you. It's really hard to get you the same height as her. And that's what you have to be. Because it's going to scale based upon your height. Um, so um, you're always going to be, you know, this five foot four chick here. I think that's how tall she is. Um, or five foot seven, and then you're going to have your buddies here who are taller than you. I think it's mostly just because I wanted to give, um, and this isn't a game where you play as yourself, it's a story. So you're play, you're reading a story of Perry, your main character. I love to do that. <laughs> And that is it for the tour of our little world. Um, if you like it, you know what to do.